What is it? What happened? It's two years. It's I know. I know. It seems like yesterday, doesn't it? How's that? Well, feels, uh, feels good. <clears throat> How's it look? Turn around. Hey, turn around, turn All around. All the way? All the way, 360, my dear. If I'm going to give my unbiased opinion, I have to make sure it's accurate. I just want to look cool, you know, and that's all, just cool. Well, you look cool, all right. <laughs> then I pass, huh? Yes, you look very distinguished. You know, you look almost as good as you did I was going to say that you, uh, you look almost as good as you did on your wedding day. I'm sorry. I don't know. It's this, this suit. It, it reminds me. It looks so much like the other one, Luke. It's... I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand. Could you please put this in 1126? I'm going to be out most of the day. Very good, Miss Hart. I would like to make a collect call to the island of Kirokonos in Greece. I should have gone to work, but kept my mind off it. Make you feel any better? I felt the same thing when I got up this morning. Today would have been their second anniversary. Incredible that time has passed so quickly. I don't understand this. I got through this period last year with a, a couple of tears and and a few sad memories, but but this time I can't even think about anything else. And and today I, it's like. It's like it just happened. And I... She's there. In my dreams at night. And when I wake up in the morning, and I can't... I can't concentrate on anything, and I don't understand it. Leslie, it, it's because... You... You never really fully mourned for her. You didn't. But now you realize the truth. No, I've realized the truth for a long time. No, I think you thought that you knew the truth. She's dead. I am not denying All that right, she's fine, dead. All right, fine, fine. How'd she die? What? I said, how did she die? Well, I don't see what good it will it's do. It's very important. How did she die? She went, went away. She did not go away. She died. She didn't die. Died. She was murdered. She was killed by that man. She was, she was, she was put in that little boat. And she was sent out to sea to drown in all that water. Nothing, <laughs> nothing that you, you could do to help her. No, nothing. No. Well, then say it, say it. You couldn't help there her, could you? There was nothing I could do. Oh, Rick, I miss her. I still miss her and you so always, much. You always her. will, miss her. You always will.
you sure? I'm sure I'm all right. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. You've really got to go on. I'll call you in a little while. All right, do that. I will. Thank you, Operator. Sir, you're George. Yes, we've been waiting for your call. It's something good you have to report, I hope. Because you suspect that she came directly here to Port Charles. And it's all clear. She knows Spencer is alive. Who she made contact with? I don't know. Well, where is she now as we speak? Right across the lobby from me. She seems on the way out. I see. At least we've located her. What do you want me to do? Not a thing. Follow her, of course. But make sure that she doesn't see you. I want to know where she goes, what she does, and especially if she makes her presence known to Spencer, you understand? Yes, sir. Otherwise, she seems uh, all right, healthy, unhurt. A little bit nervous. Otherwise, all right. Yes, well, keep me posted then. I must know everything. Yes, sir. No way Laura could have escaped this compound without help. Someone told her that Luke was not killed in that avalanche and then helped her to get away. Yes, but who? <laughs> who do you think? Helena. Of course it was Helena. She did it. And now she's going to answer to me about it. Stay by that phone. Features late. Oh, not bad. <laughs> Who's up? You kidding? It's you. Okay, Al. Um, I tell you what I want to do for me. Uh, I want you to put a hundred dollars on that pretty little filly's nose. <laughs> Al, you know I'm good for it. Honestly. I got through early. I decided to come home. You came home to check up on me, huh? I came home because I How wanted to be with you. How dare you? Don't you come near me. <laughs> Elena did it. As you suspected. Did she admit it to your face? Yes. <laughs> she ate grapes, Yanni. Yeah. She held them over her mouth. And she ate them off the stem while she explained to me how she arranged for Laura's escape. She's lucky I didn't murder her on the spot. How did she do it? A calculated, step-by-step -step plan which she described to me with pleasure. First, she showed Laura some newspaper account of Spencer winning this election. Mayor? Just to show her that Spencer was still alive. They escaped, though. This island is a fortress. Well, that's the second part of Elena's plan. She put some money and a passport in Laura's purse, and she had the guards removed from her door. Conveniently, there was a small boat moored at the foot of the cliff. All without us knowing. An hour offshore, a cruise ship picked her up. From there, it was easy. To Athens, a plane to the United States. She knew. How to hurt you, Stavros. First, take Laura away from you. But worse, to send her back to another man, a man she loved. Enough! I'm only observing the extent of her cruelty to you. The mark of a desperate woman, if it's only comfort. Elena has not succeeded. She has not succeeded. Laura is gone. But only temporarily. I'll get her back, Yanni. In spite of Elena. In spite of Spencer. You're not wrong about Helena. We have ways to handle her, but Spencer could be another story. What would you do if Laura goes back to him? What do you think I'll do? Where are you off to? You gambling? No, I'm not. But I would like to tell you, I really don't appreciate your spying on me. Leslie, I didn't come to spy on you. Yesterday you said you had a problem. You admitted it to Gail, you admitted it to me. It's my problem, Rick. 
No. Leslie, it is our family oh, problem. Oh, stop talking to me like that! I am trying you to treat help. me like a child! You are a child if you think you can handle this all by yourself. I have to handle it by myself. It's the only way it's going to work. Don't you understand that? It isn't any good if I don't do it myself. No, you don't understand that. Okay, fine. I'll make it easy for you. Let the color that really turns me on. What's wrong with that style? Nothing, but I don't know if I could do it justice. Oh, Ruby, come on. She looks great in it. Say, look, I told you they'd be waiting for us. Yeah. Of course we're waiting for you. Yeah, we all know you're a big shot. But we know that you always make time for your family. <sighs> if there were about eight extra hours in the day, I might have time to take care of this town and my life. I can't believe that they stayed here this long. Oh, I think you're going to do just fine. Now, are you ready to go? You're going to hate me, but I have to cancel. Yeah, he's got a meeting with the housing commission, 6 o'clock. Yeah, it's another one of those dinner things. You know, you eat chicken that smells like fish. It costs about seven ninety-eight. I eat a few more of those, and I'm going to start growing feathers and crowing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, don't knock a free meal. <laughs> Sorry. It's OK. We'll do it another time. Hey, I got an idea. You got a minute? I got at least a couple of hours. What do you got in mind? I tell you what, we'll go for a walk in the dock. It's not as good as Beecher's Corners, but at least I get to visit with you. Ruby, that's a great idea. Luke, yes, please. Yes, please. You think I'm going to pass up an offer like that? You got it. Would you make the excuses? Uh, yes, I guess I will make the excuses. Thank you, Carol. Yes, you want to come? Uh, no, thank you, darling. I'm expecting an important phone call, which I have been waiting all afternoon for. Oh, good luck. I hope it's not another bug spray commercial. Okay. Oh, that's it. Oh, 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 I should oh, be going. Oh, <coughs> yeah. Mickey, where have you been? I, have, I feel like I'm chained to this place waiting for you to call me. Beer or bourbon? Oh, me. That fire in her eyes, her passionate abstinence, that initial meeting it was quite a moment, one I shall not soon forget. Yanni. Hmm? Tell me again. But, sir. I know. I've asked you so many times before, but just... <sighs> Once more. As you wish. It was this room. This very room. We first took off the blindfold. None more beautiful. It looks more like prison. You're not a prisoner. Merely a long-time guest. Enjoy yourself. Make the best out of it. We're not such bad of sorts. I was kidnapped. Why? Kidnapped? <laughs> That's a strange choice of words. I was walking home to the star, and it was foggy. And there was someone following me, and I got scared, so I hid in the phone booth. And then there was that man with those eyes. <clears throat> After that, I don't remember anything. The man with the eyes was David Gray. He had certain powers. Hypnotic powers. He hypnotized you and lured you to the end of the pier. Now I remember. And there was a boat, and I fell into it. It was easy from that moment on. A short row into the harbor, where you were transferred into the larger vessel. One of the family's many. What family? Who are you? All in due time. I won't have to wait for that. Because people are going to come looking for me. And they'll find me. They'll find that you drowned. It was arranged to look if you had fallen this into a small dinghy. <laughs> and drowned after you hit another boat in the fog. 
Your clothes and jewelry were thrown into the dinghy, so they would presume that you were dead. Dead? Why? Why would you want somebody to think that I was dead? This is our gift from the watery deep. An exquisite gift, I see. Who are you? Someone who had no idea how beautiful you would be. Why are you keeping me here? I think I will make it my personal mission to look after you. No. I insist. How could I not? From the first moment I saw you, I could never tire of looking at you. People will come to look for me. My husband, my family. Really? They'll all think you're dead. Nobody can keep me here. They'll never believe that I'm dead. Cooperate. No one will harm you. But why? What have I done? I haven't harmed anyone. No. No. No! It was then, that very moment, I knew she had to be mine. but I think you should come down here and we ought to talk about this. Leslie, it's very important. up to it. We're all remembering what this day is. Can't hide anything from her, can you? Well, you didn't think I was going to forget it. I don't know. Sometimes it's just easier forgetting. Yeah, sometimes it's impossible. That's right. It is impossible. So, How about some chestnuts? What a terrific idea. Oh, let's go for it. Let's go. Well, there he is. Hi. Wondered when you'd be by again, Hi, I'd like three bags this time. Uh, this is my Aunt Ruby and my sister Bobby. Hi there. Hello. Oh, nice How are to you? meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You, you live nice down here? Odd. Yeah, I used to on Elm Street until they tore it down. Oh, right around the corner from me. Mm -hmm. They tore my building down, too. Oh. oh, it's awful. There's a sign out front now. You know, uh, future site of 28 new condominiums. Yeah. I guess it's take out the old and put in the new. It doesn't have to be that. Oh, but it's too late now to do anything, Mayor. Don't you know that when these developers start, they, they just don't stop? No, 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 no. You'd be surprised. If the public is committed, and if I can get the city council to shut up and listen, you'd be surprised what we could do. Well, then, just for that, uh, once again, the chestnuts are on the house. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. Thank I think you. I'm running you broke here with this. As soon as I'm in the mayor's office, you come and see me, all right? Anytime. 
Any time. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll bring you some chestnuts. And I'll take you to lunch. Hey! It's a deal. <laughs> deal. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. the best time of day. I'm glad you suggested this, Rube. Yeah. You know, it's terrific that you're mayor. But the real you, it's here. And with these people, get hold up in that office. They don't want you forgetting them. Yeah. I don't think I'll forget it. Besides, I got you two to keep me on the track. Mm. You know something? This is the best it's ever been for all of us. Luke just won the election, Mr. Mayor. And you have a job. You like your job. Yeah. And you, little baby sister, are about to get married and raise little Bobby. What she always wanted but could never seem to get. Yeah, but it's true, though. It's a terrific time for Spencers and Andersons. New beginnings. New beginnings. You know, I think back on this whole life of mine and my baby sisters and my lovely aunts, and I think we all have plenty of reasons to be bitter, but I'm glad we're not. Stay bitter too long, you miss too much of life. Ain't that right? Are we keeping you up? Um, sorry. Tired. Well, it's nap time. Dr. Mason's orders. One a day, two if possible. Oh, that's lucky. Mm-hmm. See you later, Mr. Mayor. Mm. Thanks Thank for you. the chestnuts. My pleasure, sweetheart. Okay. Take care of that little one now. Mm -hmm, I and will. you are to drive carefully. Okay. Okay. What are we doing? Let's walk the, the, the young little mama to her house. Oh, <laughs> or at least to her car. <laughs> yes, ma'am. May I help you? I hope so. I would like to check in. Uh, do you have a reservation? Uh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't. Well, let's see. Uh, Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, your name, please? Um, Weber. Mrs. Um, Leslie Weber. Uh, is that a double room, Mrs. Weber? I'm sorry, I don't... Will, will your husband be joining you? Oh. No, I, I want a, a single room. One bed. I'm checking in the All right, very well. If you will just sign there. Uh, let's see. That'll be room 1124. Would you like a bellman? No, it's fine. I can I can get there myself. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. We ought to do this more often, you know that? You and me, we ought to just sit here and look out at the ocean and mm -hmm. think. Unfortunately, you're going to be too busy. So we'll keep it for special occasions. What do you mean special occasions? What's so special about today? An anniversary. Yep, okay, you busted me again, didn't you? Oh, Ruby. It was the most beautiful day of my life. I think if I live to be a hundred, and I hope I don't, I'll never have a day like that. Yeah, it was truly beautiful. You know, there are times when I can close my eyes and I can actually hear the music and I can smell the food, see all the people that were there and what they were wearing. And I can hear the words. no matter what I go through in my entire life, that is the only day that I will remember on the day I die as being okay. Honey, life has to go on. You're alone? A little. Particularly today. Yep. Particularly today. The way the days, the weeks, the months went by. Never leaving the compound, thinking of her constantly. A year, 
Or was it two? Even my own memory blocks it. Perhaps out of sympathy for your profound pain, then. I burned for her. I could barely control myself. That's where you made your mistake, Salvros. You never should have let Helena find out. I tried not to. But I was so transparent, Helena, because Helena could see right through me. How I tried to control myself. How I tried to put Laura out of my mind. But she was always so... close. Always there, waiting. Unable to run. Stay away from me. Do you resist? Do you find me so repulsive? I loathe you, you and everyone else on this island. You want to leave this island someday, don't you? I give in to you. I'll never leave. You know that, and so do I. I have so much to teach you, a man of my experience. You need me, Laura. You're just too frightened to admit it. The only man I need is Luke. He's all I want. He's all I've ever wanted. He thinks you're dead. Someday, I'll get off this island and I'll go back to him. You really think he'll wait? I don't care. I'll go back to him anyway. You're not going anywhere. You are mine. Now it is inevitable. No! Yes. No! Don't you even care that I despise you? Doesn't make any difference to you you're at all. You're frightened. You're you're confused. Once you submit, no. once you submit, you'll be mine no. forever. Because then you will find me. No. no. What true no. love is. Don't fight me. No. No escaping. <laughs> That was the day I truly understood the depths of your passion for Laura. She was the only woman I ever wanted that I didn't take. Stavros, you can be very complex at times. The more I held back, the more I knew I had to wait for her consent. And now this... I must have her back, Yanni. I will have her back. Fine. And thank you. No, they weren't kidding. It is important. No, I can't do it over the phone. Can I meet you somewhere? Well, I'm not sure I know where that is. Kelly's. Great, but it has got to be right now. Yes, it is an emergency. I'll see you then. Slick, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, this is for you, ma'am. It's a complimentary welcome for all of our guests. Oh, isn't that nice? Thank you. And if there's anything else you need, please let us know. Uh, you can call extension 411, and my name is Mabel. Thank you, Mabel. for Indian summer. <sighs> yeah, the autumn and winter chill. Oh. You know, winter seems to sneak up on you every year, doesn't it? You got something you want to talk about? You, you know, you, you better leave me alone. Yeah, I do. My wedding. Yeah, it's written all over you. I mean, any fool could see it, but particularly this old fool. I don't know what's wrong this year. 
I just don't understand, because last year, on this day, I was cool, you know? I, uh, I, I didn't think about it, no sweat. I had a lot of other things on my mind. Okay. So this year is different. Yeah, it's different. But I am okay. Yeah, I never doubted that. You always know what to say, don't you? Don't you forget, Laura. You hang on to that. You hang on to that forever. Because I'll tell you something. Think about her today. Think about her every day. Because what the two of you had, very few people ever have in any lifetime. But that doesn't make it fair. I know. But knowing what you know in the end, would you have done it any differently? Of course not. You know, I just... Yeah, I know. Because I love you, too. You can't... Yeah! Hey, I'm Mayor. I'm cool. left her sight. I followed her all day. She made no contact with no one. What do you mean, no one? She keeps her distance, watching. But approaching no one. And she never saw Spencer? Briefly. When he was talking with Rick Weber, and later, when he was with his aunt and sister. But you're absolutely sure she made no contact? None. She's even watching a disguise, so she won't be recognized. Other than that, how does she seem? I'm not sure I know what you mean. Her emotional state. Afraid of your own shadow. Ah, oh, good. That means she's trying to protect them. Do you want me to grab her? No. Don't touch her. Not yet. Continue to follow her and report to me her every move. I have to think the best way to handle this. When I get her back. I thought only these rabbits and I were the only ones that ate that stuff. Not anymore. Actually, this is the first time I've eaten here since it changed owners. Oh? What did it used to be? Lunch counter and drugstore. I've read about places like that. They serve animal flesh, right? <laughs> Pops and I don't ever call it that. How long ago was that? Uh, seems like forever. Forever's a little before my time. Are you expecting someone? Um, no. I'm just a little restless. Oh, good. I'd love to know what poor Charles used to be like. Hasn't really changed that much. Well, has it been a long time since you've been back? Were you born here? How's your girlfriend? I really liked her. She's fine. Her name is Rose, and she's still my girlfriend. You two still at each other's throats? We're not fighting. We never were. Well, what would you call it? An animated discussion. <laughs> if it were anything more, do you think we'd be getting married? No. Yeah? Oh, congratulations. Thank you. So, bridegroom-to-be, are you going to have a big wedding? Uh, you know, all the trimmings, or are you just going to run off? What's with her? Oh, she doesn't like weddings. Sorry to bother you again so soon. No, no, it's all right. I must be kept up to date. I was sure. Yes. So how is the little runaway? Just after I called, she left here. Now she's eating the health food restaurant. Is she alone? She was, when I came to call you. Has she made contact? Not so far. See that she doesn't. It would be much easier if I could just grab her. No, not yet. I want to see what she does. You just keep an eye on her. I want to hear about every move she makes, and I want to hear about every person she meets, even those to whom she only says hello. Is that clear? 
I'm curious about the hold this poor Charles has on her. Well, it's too bad I can't send you a look at a newspaper every day. A newspaper? <laughs> I hardly think so. It's not the news I'm looking for. piece of news I'd like to share with you. I couldn't care less about your news. There's nothing I want to share with you. You should know that by now. This, I guarantee, will interest you. Poor Charles Faber. What did you get? What Cassidines want, they get. Whatever, whenever, and from wherever. That is something I should think that you would know by now. Read it. No. No. No, I don't believe this. It, it can't be true. It's there in black and white. Face it, Laura. No, Luke can't be dead. It can't be. He's mortal, like anyone else. Unfortunately, the victim of an avalanche. Read for yourself. Or else this is a trick. It must be. The only trick would be if you were ever to see your husband again. There is no mistake, Laura. Luke is dead. No! It's done, and there is not a thing that you can do to change it. And there is not a thing he can do to rescue you. Except this. Sure that Luke would want the woman he loved to go on with her life. You no longer have any reason to leave this island, which is fortunate, because you never will. Unless, of course, you leave with me. I'm not a stupid man, Laura. Nor am I a man who would take a woman he loves without her consent. As yet, my feeling for you is not returned. But it will be. Because one day you will realize I have something to offer you that no one else can. Something much more than just my passion. There's nothing now. Luke was everything to me. You are alone, Laura. I am telling you, you need me. For what? Protection. Then who protects me from you? Oh, you are so wrong. I mean you no harm. But there is one who does. A very powerful person who would like nothing better than to crush you. One who will do it, too. Unless I intervene. Who? Elena Cassidyne. But you have a choice. What will it be? Would you rather find yourself Elena's prisoner? Or my wife? I can be very patient when I have to be. I'll wait for you to come to me. But not forever.
don't believe this. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. You frightened me. Well, I didn't mean to scare you, but this place has become like Grand Central Station. First landlady, the mayor, and now you. What is it with this place? Why is everybody so interested in this place all of a sudden? Memories. That's it? That's enough. Look, would you be careful? Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, man, what are you doing here? This is crazy. Scare me like this again, please. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't trying to frighten you. Leslie, what you're going through, I understand. But don't do it alone. Open up. Let's share it together, all right? Don't run away again, because that's one thing I can't handle. Oh, honey, I wasn't running away from you. If anything, I was running away from myself. I have a problem, Rick. I really know that now. The only thing is, I've got to be able to deal with it in my own way. And that means that you are going to have to be very patient with me. I'll be patient with you. I love you. That's all I want to do is help. Oh, baby, I know that. <sighs> oh, uh, what? hang on a second. What? shake apartment building near the waterfront. It was about to be torn down. What was she doing there? Just looking around, as far as I could tell. Did she meet anyone? There was a guy there, but she barely spoke to him. So then where did she go? Back to the hotel. And she contacted no one? She talked to a couple of people, <laughs> but I'm sure they were strangers. They were just made small talk. Could they have been important? I wonder. What do you want him to do? Bring her back here. Right. But don't harm her. I intend to take care of my wife myself in my own way. Mm -hmm. 